things. May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts. While all the other knights are working hard to clean up after the battle. Thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me, I'd much rather be taking out the trash. So what you thinking about that? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churl? To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited, and watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the hilly churl's cries sounded from the city gates, that same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation is this. The Abyss Order... They are united under a single leader. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic power. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call him the Prince. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Today's recommendation is the steak.
Hey, Traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere! How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be... <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
has been getting quite busy recently. Haven't you heard? There's Which a should I choose? choose? So, now the storm terror threat is behind us, what are your plans for the next step? <laughs>